Hey everyone, welcome to the metal. Out here on the range, just enjoying this day. It uh pretty nice out here, got a little breeze going, hard to beat. And what are we up to today? Well, from a previous shoot, my too nice of a neighbor brought these down uh, to do some testing with the 44 Magnum that he had loaned me. Uh, if y'all missed that shoot, you need to go check it out, run through the playlist. It'd be 44 Mag versus 10 millimeter. It was pretty cool. But what we got here is just some standard softballs. Yeah, well, that was bright yellow, ain't it? And since I had these left over, I thought, well, we might as well get out something with a little horsepower. Knew y'all would like that. So, I grabbed my favorite range plinking device. This is my Desert Eagle. And yes, she's in my favorite flavor of 50AE. Check that thing out. Yeah, it's a little bit of a handful, but just, uh, I mean, too much of a fun shoot. And what I thought would be really cool to do a test on these softballs with is a full metal jacket versus a hollow point. And I happen to have some. Not many, but I got some. I have some of these uh, 325 grain full metal jackets. You see, they are flat nose. So that ought to hit that softball with a lot of authority. Then I've got some Hornady Custom 300 grain XTPs. Yeah, man. That's a nasty looking round. It'll be interesting to see what it does to the softball. What we're going to use the our flat nose full metal jackets on this white one. And then we'll use our hollow point on this yellow. But first, I'd like to give y'all just a taste of what the 50 AE is, how it fires, and the impact and everything. So I've got one of these flat nose full metal jackets. I'm going to go out there, what is that, about 12 yards. A stop sign target, and let's uh, put one on there. That'll give you a general idea of the bang that this little planker has. All right, guys, the reason I got the camera up so close, I'm going to give y'all a first person view on shooting the Desert Eagle 58. She's on safe. Chamber her up. I think y'all like this. This is going to be fun. Safety off. Fire and all. Now that is a shooter. y'all get a kick out of that fun way to show how the gun recoils and uh, get to see down the sight picture and whatnot. Alright, now to the softball test. I've got my full metal jacket flat nose up first. We can give one of them in the chamber. in the comments what you think. What kind of hole it's going to make in it and how far it's going to propel it out through there. Alright, she's on safe and chambered. Well, let's see what kind of damage it's going to do. Get out here at an angle and give it a little bit of flight time hopefully. Alright, didn't go far as I thought. Let's run out there and see what we got. Alright, we may have got 12 to 15 feet off of that. And there's our thing. And here we go. There's the entrance hole. Yeah, not much to speak of, is it? There's the exit. 
Well, that full metal jacket just more or less plowed its way through that thing without no problem. Well, like I say, that, uh, that didn't have no problem getting through that softball. But it didn't sling it as far as I thought. But being full metal jacket and having a little bit of speed on it, I'd say that's why we got that result. Alright, now up. Here's our jacket at hollow point. I don't know if they refer to that as a jacket at hollow point or not. I would assume so. It's that XTP round. Get her loaded up in here. And let's see what this is going to do. Y'all throw down in the comments. You think this one's going to do better, worse, bigger exit hole, or what we're going to get out of it. Get her ears back on. That was just a little on the loud side. All right, safety's on. She is chambered. Let's see what kind of damage we get from this. If I can find that thing, uh, I'm not seeing it nowhere. I expected it to be on out there, but uh, it just went sideways and didn't go that far at all. Wow. There's our entrance. Turn around this way, sunlight hits it a little bit better, maybe. And there's our exit. I did not expect that. Whatever's in this softball is not letting these hollow points open up far out. Well, I gotta say, that was quite unexpected. Uh, I figured the full metal jacket would just rip through it and swing it out there a little bit. But I thought that hollow point would really destroy that softball, especially in 50 AE. Uh, can't wait to see the slow mo, because I thought I seen a lot of material flash out but from where I was standing and of course this is in front of my face it's you know really hard to see up close what happened happened but there you go that's the results of that and was not what I expected well everyone I appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed that video y'all know I enjoyed shooting it love getting my favorite blinking toy out at the range anytime just total blast to shoot. Well, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.